What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Port Royal 4. Last time we kind of like set the foundation for our trading empire and in this case here both of our ships when we can look it up are actually making some profit for us. Right now this one here 50,000 so per to 26,000 and our other ship here which is coming in on Sevilla now is making us actually 17,000 so it's also making us a good money there. As we can see there is something coming in now. Um, lots of goods actually, ham, some rum, clothing, and on our beautiful town here, just want to watch that. Unfortunately, there's no real animation there when it's docking, something like that. That would have been amazing. But as we can see, selling something, and we are at 470,000 cash right now, sitting on that. So we do have a free ship available, as far as I know. Let's have a look around. There should be one of our ships. Let's have a look at our convoy and town list. So this one here is at sea. This one is in Sevilla. That is our trading. And this one here is at sea without. It was here in Turk Island. Unfortunately, that quest was not successful. So we have to go back here to Sevilla up there. So it takes it five days. Now we do have though um, a quest here. Once again, a task. And this is once again something for hemp. So let's take this one. For a long time, the citizens of this town are missing a commodity. Let's take this one, task accepted, that is the hemp, and the ship that I've just accept, or well, just sent there, there it is. Let's go with it to the Florida Keys, because there we got the hemp available. So that ship is now on its way there, and we can purchase that. Why don't you come and visit me again? So that was the Viceroy, I think. Let's go to the Viceroy, to Maracaibo. There we have the Viceroy, so in or and then we can also see our political status here with, for example, with the f with the Dutch or with the, yep, yeah, we are allied right now. And in that case here, we could increase our fame with this town, currently it's 0% to co acquire a construction permit. And you will increase your fame by selling commodities which are required by the town. So this is quite nice because it gives us direct fame with our nation, you know, instead of the tasks. We could just sell something here with Maracaibo. And in that case here, it is cotton, it is coffee, tobacco. So I think this is a good thing of um, actually, yeah, having a trade route here. I don't know why coffee is on the list because it produces coffee, but well, that's it. Let's have a look around cotton. Perhaps there is something around it where we have some cotton. Cartagena has uh, cotton. There's tobacco here as well. So those are two things that we could use already to create our fame here. Cotton and tobacco and the other one would be cacao that is here in Riahaka. So let's go back to Sevilla. Let's actually purchase another convoy, right? And we can do that here in the Harbor Master, that we can purchase it. This function is only available in shipyards. To do this, the building must be upgraded by the town administrator. So unfortunately, we only have a maintenance dock as far as I can see. Sevilla is not worth uh, valuable or rich enough yet to do that. So there we have the ship ride. So this is the ship yard to build the vessels for other nations and stuff like that we cannot build that yet even though we could afford it so that is something but it's probably then in the concessions there over here it is right so that's a bit far away so we still need to kind of increase the fame of Sevilla here a bit before we can do that let's actually go here with my other ship or there are actually two ships here right now Florida Keys purchase the hemp we still have something to do a task here and let's get those hemp that hemp here to Valladolid until August 12th, so that is something we can easily do. And there is my other convoy. I always need to check how much profit they make. Actually, the profit has increased there. So, of course, do you have um, the ship there? Those ships don't have a captain on board yet, so that would be another thing entirely. At the moment, we don't have a captain's license, so that is something we can actually go with. We do have one fame that we can spend. So instead of spending it on something like those things here, um, we could spend it on a captain's license. Right, this one here, if we have enough fame. And with that, we could get a captain with certain bony. But let's just wait on the ship there for the hemp. That is here in Valladolid. There we have our current task. There it's coming. And let's sell all hemp that we have there. And there we have completed the task here. That is unfortunately only 20 fame, is that right? Yeah, it's not a fame point that we have here available for that. Right, so um, usually I would like to keep a ship to myself, you know, for tasks and stuff like that. But we do need to make money and we can raise our fame directly. So let's use our Seville 3 
for the trade route here in Maracaibo. So there we have a new trade route. We do have a free one, I think. There it is. And this one here, let's have a look around here. We do need the hemp. Let's have a look at that again. Cotton, tobacco, cacao. Cotton, tobacco, and cacao. Not very profitable goods, unfortunately, but we can use them for the fame. That is more important than you. Cotton, tobacco, and cacao. So we do have Cartagena, Ria Haka, <laughs> that is a nice name. There we have cacao, there we have the cotton and tobacco. Then we go to Maracaibo, Gibraltar, and Coro. Those are our trade routes. Now in over here in Cartagena, we start with purchasing cotton and tobacco. Right, so those things are available here. We can also purchase the luxury goods and whatever that is, I haven't figured it out yet. Ceramics, very good. So that and that. So a huge, uh, this is a really valuable town here. In this dry region there. This has huge or very good resources here. Ceramics and the luxury goods. In Rihaka, we can start selling those things. So we can start selling the luxury goods and the ceramics or ceramics. And we purchase cacao. Right, in Maracaibo, we sell all of that. So we sell the cacao with high priority, the tobacco with high priority, the cotton, and the ceramics and the luxury goods. Luxury items, that is. And in we could purchase something here, tools. Right, tools might be something yeah, that we can sell then in the other towns to make this profitable. So not only to get some fame out of this one here, but also to have a profitable enterprise in this one here. And metal is something in Maracaibo we could purchase as well. Um, because we can sell it then in Gibraltar right away. Right, the same with tobacco, cacao, the tools that we purchased. We can sell all of that, ceramics and luxury items. Right, and the same thing in Koro. In Koro, we can actually sell everything that we still have left over. Because this town barely has anything, really. Oops, not this one, but this one here. Right, so there we have that. In Koro and in Cartagena, we can also sell then all the rest that we still have. So the metal, we have the tools. And I think that's it. Rihaka, we can do the same. We can sell the tools here. Oh, we're already selling that. Very good. And some metal there too, if we need it, right? So this trade route is, in my opinion, finished. Of course, if there is a problem with that route, we can just sign. See that? And CV3 is on that route. And we're going to activate it. And now the ship is on its way over here. And start selling stuff to the main capital. And look at how big it is. This is the capital of the Spanish Empire, or the Spanish nation so far. Well, it's not a nation really, it's the Spanish, the Spanish crown. And in that case here, we can now increase our fame and our reputation with them. And once we have that, we can then start building something here. So we should have a base, of course, in the Viceroy's city. That is, that is important. Unfortunately, this is not having anything to do with Seville, you know, so Seville, of course, is our hometown, so we should make this a big one, and unfortunately, we don't, or we're not able to purchase a ship yet, but what we can do is, we can have a look, yep, we could have a building permission in Valladolid. Now, in Valladolid, do we have only a maintenance dock, so we can look where we have a shipyard in one of those there is a maintenance dock only, so I think at the moment, since we just started really, um, there are only maintenance docks. The same with this one. And the same with this one. So only maintenance docks. Um, I'm pretty sure that in Maracaibo there would be a shipyard. There it is. So we could purchase something here. And we can actually do that without hesitation. So we do have barks here available. Those are some like, mighty ships there. Merchant vessel. This is a pure merchant vessel. It does not have any cannons and will not take part in any battles. But it has a capacity of 250. So let's purchase one. And we can actually purchase a second one if we want to. So we have both of them now in the harbor but they're not usable yet. We have to do something else and that is we need to make them a 
a convoy. And we can only do that here in the lighthouse, right? There we have it. And there we have the barks, the two that we just purchased. And either we can say now we have one convoy or we make one convoy consisting of two ships. If we make one convoy consisting of two ships, we have it here. And it then has a capacity of 500 tons of wares. You know, so it has a much higher capacity. Two ships are in there. And this way we could then have, for example, a guarding ship or some ships that are able to fight as well if there are pirate attacks and stuff like that. Right now we don't have any pirate attacks, that's fine. Um, and we could just, for example, now manually, for example, purchase some tools here that we can then sell in the region and stuff like that. But I'm going to get this ship here back, of course, to my main base because over there we want to get some reputation and stuff like that. So I'm just going to sell a few things here on my way back to Seville. Here, for example. And yes, we can sell a lot of these tools now since we have such a huge cargo hold. The same thing goes with here, a few tools. Actually, we cannot sell that many tools. And there we should be close then to, yeah, Seville already. 410,000. I'm eager to see how much cash we make with the trade route there in Maracaibo. That's another 10k here. Puerto Cabezas. Over here we could do that. Yeah, we can sell some more. Actually, we can sell all of the tools. Very nice. Made a bit of profit there. Then we're back in Seville. And here we can then focus on tasks once they appear again. And look at that. That we actually have a task over here in Riajaca. So 45 cloth to deliver that until September 20th. That is no problem. In Seville, we produce the clothes. So 45, we can easily take that. Look at that. Plenty of that. And let's get over there to the town that needs it to finish this task and raise our fame. Now, our other convoy has arrived here now and is starting. There it is. To trade. Very nice. So there shouldn't be a balance yet. Oh, there is actually. So we made actually some profit there already. With this one. 500,000. So we are really making a good amount of cash there at the moment. That means that we could soon start with, well, you know, building a, a production chain. Here in Puerto Cabezas we have another one. An older man is watching old vessels which come into port here. I'm looking for my daughter. She got on board on, in Guadalupe, but she never arrived here. The captain told us that she would have disappeared at some point on the way. Let's accept this one until September 30th, Turk Islands once again. And in Cartagena, we have another town task for 45 cacao. Let's go with that as well. Right, so in Maracaibo, Let's actually purchase another vessel here because we can, or at the bark that we have there. Oh, it's a sloop now, so that's a smaller one. Would be cheaper. We have the brig here too. Corvette. This is a fighting ship then. The feel of your current vessel. That is pre pretty cool, but it costs a lot. We're no fighting yet. Let's get the brig. Right, with the brig. We can use the brig then to get into one of our convoys. It's this one. And this one we sent now to Turk Island. Which should be somewhere over here according to some maps that I found <laughs> where Turk Island is. I'm not familiar with the region. So it should be in this area there as far as I know. So we send our ship over there. Now we do have a few quests. We should not forget that because all of them have a deadline on them. So we do have... I think this is a trade route here though. Yep. This is a trade route. Where is my other ship that I sent on the way? There it is. That's the ship with the clothing and we do have then something for cacao and lucky for us in Ria Haka, there is cacao available so we can do that and there my ship is on its way now for the quest finding the daughter there so it's not only delivery quests and stuff like that but also treasure hunting finding missing persons or pirate hunting even and this one is on its way now we don't have any fighting ships so far of course we're starting as a trader we were starting as a trader but we do have now a bit of cash to well, soon afford our own first battle fleet. With that, we could then go for pirate hunts and stuff like that. Let's get here. Let's sell the cloth, finish the task. Task completed. And then we have the cacao. How much cacao is it? 45. That's here. 45. 
There it is. And let's get it over here to Cartagena. That is that. And Maracaibo. Where's my trading ship? There it is. Do we make some profit here? We do make some profit here. But though, of course, there's always room for improvement. So we have no tobacco and cotton on board. And he's going to sell that then in Maracaibo. Uh, making us a bit of money there on the way. Um, I just want to see if we get any fame there, right? So we haven't really sold anything here yet, as far as I can see. So we should hopefully make some cash there. Now that the ship is coming. Unfortunately, we cannot see the sh our ships on the map. I would really love that. If we could see the ships on the map there. And there we have arrived in Cartagena. Let's sell the cacao. For another task that we have completed thus far. And there is now our ship coming in. Tobacco, cotton. Okay, we sold something now. Yeah, and there it's coming up. And as we can see, we have made two fame out of this one here for selling the goods there now, right? And we increased us the fame a bit there for the next fame point. We do have a fame point available now, so we could now go with the captain's license in that case here. Get our first captain there and let's do that. Would you like to buy the concession? As soon as you have more captain's licenses than captains, new captains will approach you automatic uh, automatically from time to time. In the captain's dialogue, you can have a look at that, hire them or decline their applications. Now let's accept that. So we should soon be getting some captains there that are applying for a job. And here we are in Turk Islands and there is the quest. The Fernao Gonzalez. So in this region, she should be sunk or should have sunk. So that's the Turk Islands. That's good to know because we get a quest quite often for the Turk Islands. Oh, a beautiful sunset. Look at that. There we are. And what do we need to do now? Accept. That's it. We picked her up. And we now need to get her back, I guess, to Puerto Capesas. Where is that? There it is. And there we're sending the ship back. And then we finish the quest there as well. Very good. Money-wise, 500,000 cash. How is Seville looking? Do we have something here? Has it improved the town? We do have the building concession, right? It has reached its maximum size because without a small church in the center of the town, it cannot accommodate more than 2,000 citizens. Okay, in order to grow, we need to build a church here. And we should be able to do that. Or a chapel. That is a chapel. There is this church. 45,000, 20 wood, 30 timber, uh, bricks, and 10 tools right for the church and let's build the church here there it is our first building in all its glory now it is our building so we do need some people for that so workers of course the town can now continue to grow and we do get then some missions here too on we can pray now pause for a moment and thank the lord ask him to forgive you for your wrongdoings let's do that we're praying perhaps we get a bonus out of this one then here we could get missions. You can send out missionaries to get in touch with the local population to recruit new workers for the town. To do this, however, the administrator for the town must upgrade this building to a cathedral. And here we could celebrate. Host a feast for the citizens of Seville. Increase their satisfaction plus 10%. So that would be that building here, the church now that we have. And with that, Seville can now grow or continue to grow. We do have now the chapel here, 92%, so that's where the church is as well. We do have a risk of a plague of 53% because there are no hospitals. Well, we do have some money, so why not just spend a nice hospital for this town? And there we have it. Right, we can afford that. And now we have a hospital in Sevilla, and that is a nice building. And now we have a problem of the housing situation, so we do not have... I think enough people living house space utilization 76% though so everything should be fine as far as I can see. Hospital still needs to be constructed though so days until completion is 10. Oh right those buildings are not completed yet my bad. 
this one here needs 15 days until it is finished. You know, so it's taking a bit of time before these effects take in place. Very good. That's good to know then. Now, um, we bring st we still bring her back, right? Puerto Cabezas. There we are. So there the ship should be coming in then at some point. There it is. When we speed up the whole process. And then we have to completed the task. The whole crew of your convoy is invited to join a cheerful celebration in a small hut at the edge of the town. There, they hand a piece of the treasure map to you. Oh. Did we get a treasure map or some sort of like that? The journal. Treasure map. Right, we do have found a piece of a treasure map, so we do need to find more by doing some tasks. And in that case, then we could find something where there is something hidden, like, I don't know. I'm really eager to see actually what it is, because I cannot imagine. How is this ship looking here? It's making some profit, very good. So with that one here, we are actually doing making some profit. They are selling also something. There is something here, there is a plague. The shipyard of this town is cel celebrating 100 day anniversary of road time work. Therefore, it offers a discount of 10% on the construction of any vessel. Why is that a task? Oh, I need to award a building contract to the shipyard. Right, let's do that. Let's purchase a schooner. Oh, no, we need to order something, not purchase something. There's a difference here. So with ordering, we could actually get some better ships there as well. There's the Corvette, the Frigate. Nice ships there. So the Frigate is the highest one right now. Let's order a schooner. Is that now the task? Oh, and we also need to make sure that the shipyard is able to finish it until October 23rd. That means we need to con uh, deliver the construction materials there as well. So this one here needs actually, I think, wood. Yeah, wood, ropes, cloth, and metalware. So let's do that. We do have our ship there somewhere, right? Let's get some wood, ropes. <laughs> we don't have any of that here. Cloth. Metalware. Alrighty. Let's go to the next town. So hopefully we can finish that ship there on time. We have gained another fame point as well. There is some wood here on board. Yeah. Let's get a bit of wood. No sails, but we can purchase them. There are 69 in here. Let's purchase 51. Cloth. 59. We can sell that at least. And there are some ropes over there as well in Koro. Let's get over there. So here once again, let's see, there are the ropes, 30 of them, not really any metalware here, but let's just purchase something, we can afford that. Right, and let's sell those things, the wood, the ropes, cloth, and the metalware. So with that, hopefully, we should be able to finish that quest here, yeah, 51%. So we can increase here, so in that case, perhaps a bit of metalware in addition. Something like that. Let's get to Gibraltar, there we have metalware. In Severe, in the meantime, what is happening here? Is there also a plague or what? Oh, it's besieged by Dutch ships. Therefore, you can only approach with captains who have the blockade runner ability. The town is able to withstand blockade for approximately 21 days. After that, the town will be looted or annexed. Oh, that's interesting, but where are the ships? There they are. Are they on their way now? Is that the ship that is on its way then? No idea. Oh, it seems like we are at war with the Dutch now. And yeah, my ship kind of like is... No, I have no idea. Let's activate the route again. Seems like the route has been disabled here. I would love to have a message about that if something like that happens. It's being repaired now too a bit and then being bought. But it seems like this one here is taking it again. Right, but now it sorts off something like that. 
We do have another fame point, so we could purchase now something else here. I would rather wait on that. What I've seen though is that, oh wait a second, yeah, here we get plus 10 fame because we sold those things there. And once again, war is going through the Caribbeans. War against whom? It doesn't say that. But I could get a letter of Mark Marquis for 42,000. I will pass you a letter of Marquis against the Netherlands. In return, you may keep all the commodities and vessels from plundering and capturing. So we do, with that letter, we would have the official um, ability to, you know, capture those ships or destroy them, loot them without any problem. Of course, we, for example, couldn't do that if we were to go with a nation that we are allied with. That we have a task for the hemp. Let's purchase some hemp over there. And we have also finished our orders here for the ship and thus has, have completed the task here. So that's a bit more that we get out of this one. And in that case, let's get our trading ship back to Seville. And oh yeah, there is a siege. Even though there are unfortunately no animations or stuff like that. We can only see that some of them are disappearing. Siege from Seaside is happening right now here. Now I hope really that they're improving this one here. Because even in Port Royal 1 it was better animated than that. <laughs> because there we actually saw how ships were attacking. In that case, is the siege over? Nope. There's still a siege. The ships disappeared though. But yeah, so far so good. How the hospital looking? Hospital is now finished. So that's ours now. Risk of plague is thus going down. Declining tendency. Having the hospital and the chapel here is now finished as well. That makes the people happy. And as you can see now the inhabitation or the, the inhabitants is growing. So rising trend 2024 now um, getting more people here that means more workforce and soon we can then start our own production chain in Seville if we want so stay tuned